Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. My name is Emmanuel and today we will revisit promotions in Google Merchant Center next because a lot has changed in the end of 2024. So this video is more geared for 2025. Now when you want to add a promotion you can go to the left hand menu and you can see here underneath marketing that there's promotions added. If you don't see that what you need to do first is go to the cog icon go to add-ons and here in the list you will be able to add promotions now for this account this is already added so when you go to your add-ons promotions is already added so when promotions are added you get the link uh, in the marketing section now there are two ways that you can add promotions you can add it through a spreadsheet uh, this is a little bit more difficult um, than adding a promotion in the ui and unfortunately in the spreadsheet not all features are enabled so it is actually better even if you have multiple promotions that you want to add is to add manually in the ui within google merchant center next so when we go to add a promotion create a promotion we will get the ui tab here so first option is to choose your country to show you all the features available i will choose the us because this has most features if you've chosen a different country and some features you don't see when i'm explaining it in the video that means that it's not launched in your account or it's not launched in that specific country so please be aware of that so let's go and choose united states and choose english because that matches the data feed that you've submitted now here you can see three options you can choose to show in as free listings and also chrome browsers now this is one of the options that you cannot choose in the spreadsheet if you add it in manually uh, through a file so that's why i'm suggesting using ui so that you can also choose chrome browsers the second option is your shopper incentive so in the shopper incentive there's a new feature which is cashback that was not available before so you can choose amount of percentage of discount range cashback free shipping and free gift now with free shipping the only caveat is that you need to add a promotional code in the checkout and actually also what I should explain is when you're choosing a promotion, it needs to be redeemed in the checkout. So for example, if you're offering a site-wide discount and it is applied on the product landing page, then this does not count as a promotion, but then you're actually looking at an annotation. And I have a video talking about uh, Google Shopping annotations and I will link the article also in the description downstairs. So when we want to choose a shopper incentive, let's go and do the most usual uh, incentive, which is the percent off. You then get the option to choose what discount you want to apply. In my case, that will be 20%. And we can choose apply discount to a quantity of items. And we can also limit the amount of money customers can receive. Promotion conditions are where you have a minimum threshold. So for example, uh, let's say buy items. Then you can say the minimum purchasable items when the discount is applicable is two. And now you can also add an eligibility requirement, which is something that was not available before. For example, you can subscribe and save. First order, sign up to email, sign up for text, uh, custom requirements and uh, that you can then uh, sign uh, add here uh, so for example um, let's say a year a year and a half ago I was not fully uh, sure if you could add first order as a promotional discount because the eligibility was not mentioned nor was it mentioned in the documentation uh, but you could actually add that promotion regardless but now it seems like Google has been uh, adding new features and allowing you to specify what the promotion is applicable to, uh, which is great uh, news. And then you can add the promotion title and ID. So make sure that the ID is unique. What I like to do is, for example, if it's Black Friday, 
let's just just say that Black Friday and then this year is 2025 so add 2025 for the title I usually keep it simple and short because if you're adding too much uh, details in the title then the promotion most likely get rejected and also now is a good point to show you that adding promotions does affect your shopper badge so your store badge this means if your promotion is rejected this may influence your uh, eligibility for the badge and you might lose your badge so when you add a promotion make sure that everything is correct so also test that the promotion code works correctly in the checkout you can actually already add the promotion code now even though that for example the promotion is only applicable for in a month's time it doesn't really matter because nobody will use that code because it's now only for Google's internal employees to test and not really for uh, everybody as a consumer. So what I like to do, because I use 20%, so 20% discount. Oh, not $20, 20%. And uh, that's why I like to keep it simple uh, because the information that you can see on promotions is actually very limited anyways. Now, with the promotion method, uh, they have also added one new feature. So first, let's go and have a look what is already in existence, which was the product type brands and filters. So this is great to use the uh, filters if you are in a rush and you just want to apply it. The good thing is that you can specify the filters based on what you already have. So uh, that is good to see. Uh, however, the downside is that if you, for example, made a mistake with, let's say, the product type values, then it also applies to products that are with that product type assigned. Uh, that is why I prefer to go with the promotion ID so that I can specify the promotion ID on a per product level using either feed rules, a spreadsheet, so I apply them all there, or even manually. And of course, most cases you will use promote all products. And here is where the new feature uh, is now also added, which is create an event with the destination URL for a sale, special occasion or product category. So here, as we can see, an event is shown across Google on search and shopping results that aren't product specific. It can help you reach more customers by displaying your event, a sale promotion occasion. And then you add the URL of the occasion event that you have created uh, you can reach more customers on google search and google results if you dedicate a specific page on your website for this event and then you can also add a promotional image uh, so you can add up to three different images so here you can see Google will use the images you upload here for your search results. But if they violate any content rules, they, they, they'll be taken uh, from your website instead. Uh, review our content rules for promotions. And then you can optionally specify a specific category. Here again, be very careful. Most merchants actually don't apply product categories because Google automatically applies these categories for you. Uh, and that is why I recommend that you always specify your own categories um, so that you can apply the correct category here as well. So in the data feed, in the primary feed, make sure that these are applied so that you can uh, correctly add promotions to the specific products because we don't want promotions to be rejected because Google will test at random products that uh, don't have the promotion active and then they will get rejected and then that will uh, affect your store badge. I don't know how many uh, rejections you get before it affects your store badge but I do know just one can affect your store badge and get rejected and we don't want that. So add your promotion code. Uh, so make sure that you add the code if there is one applicable. Also ensure that you test it in a checkout. I don't want to stress enough how important it is that you need to check that everything is working as expected. And then you can add the start and end date. Now with the start and end date, something that you need to be aware of is that when you uh, 
leave it like this that means that the promotion ends on the 11th not on the 12th i get caught out with that quite a lot because it's not within my logic to use um, end dates like that so for example i would say from the 5th it starts and then 12 at midnight you know so not 11 midnight so that is why i always ensure that i go and select 11 pm and then edit this and just type in 59 and then i know it's going to be on the 12th at midnight you can of course then also uh, from the 5th till the 13th if your promotion is active on the 12th now i don't like to do it because it doesn't really work well in my brain <laughs> I, i'm quite uh most likely it's a, di a different way of how I think, but uh, it should be um, midnight 12th, not midnight 11th. And then you can save the promotion. Now, please be aware, it sa says it here as well, it will take up to 15 minutes for the promotion to be visible in the list. It does not mean it is approved yet. So when you refresh the uh, promotion list, so we can like go and cancel out of this, we can see it here listed and please be aware you will not uh, get this approved straight away it will take up to 24 hours however please be aware even if google says it takes up to 24 hours actually that is not really the case it is common where uh, there's a very busy period let's say black friday that the promotion can take a week even to get approved it's very random when it happens but it most likely depends on when google staffs their uh, employees so what i recommend is always set it up as early as possible so everything is ready and actually if you're using the spreadsheet you can define when google can approve and check everything and when the promotion is really active but the downside is that not all promotional details are active uh, within the spreadsheet such as the uh, chrome browser or other features it's all uh, limited even asking google for help that they tell us what the destination attribute name is for chrome browsers they will not tell you because they are not aware how to how to tell you i've actually been in contact with google with uh, three to five different emails i've even uh, talked to ads liaison and my google contacts on the community all of them cannot help so i've given up and just let them be and yeah we have to deal with these situations and just accept that uh, we cannot uh, get Google to uh, fix the issues uh, when we spot them. So that is how you add promotions. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them downstairs and I am more than happy to assist. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.